So I just wanted to do a really quick update and show you what my 2023 temperature blanket is looking like. I have two months done now, January, which is here, and then February. Um, if you don't know, a temperature blanket, you crochet one row on your blanket every day according to the temperature. I'm using the high temperature every day. So this is what my blanket looks like currently. I am in central Wisconsin and I'll talk to you a little bit about it here. <clears throat> so this is January 1st through January 31st and then this is February 1st through today and you can see the variations in color and those all relate to the temperature for the day. So we started off with a very warm, unseasonal January. So we started off this gray color. I have been using four temperatures in the 40s. So you can see that we've had quite a few different um, sets of 40s. And then in February, we've had a lot of 40 degree weather, which is unseasonal for unseasonable, unseasonal, unseasonal. I'm not exactly sure what word you're supposed to use. Unseasonal weather for us. So gray 40s. This blue here is temperatures that were in the 30s. We had a lot of 30 degree weather in January. This is weather in the 20s. I used like a navy blue for the temperatures that were in the 20s. And then this tan color is for any temperature that was under 20. Um, we had mostly negative temperatures, but I didn't, um, I didn't like pick a different color for the negative temperatures. I just used the tan color to represent those. So January, we started off 40, 30, 20, a mix, and then we ended very cold. And then this is going into February. I've been using this cream color to be the divider color for each month so that way when you look at the blanket when it's finished you can say oh well this was a month that was a month etc and then February we did have one day that was in the 50s so I had to use this green color um it's kind of an oddball it's very weird that we had a day in the 50s but kind of interesting and it'll be fun to kind of look back at this and be like wow we had a 50 degree day in February it's unheard of here. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'm really enjoying this project. I was going to say something, I can't remember. Oh, okay. So when I did the first row, I did 301 stitches across and that is supposed to be about the width of a twin bed. And then each month is about a hand, about a hand per month, so I'll have 12 hands worth um, for length. So it should be a nice bed cover for like a twin bed or just a blanket to snuggle up on the couch with. So I just wanted to give an update on that and I will probably update again on um, March 31st and let you guys know how that's going. Oh, and here's what the ends look like. So you change colors a lot. I'm not quite 100% sure what I am going to do with these ends. Um, I'll probably have to do where I stitch them in and then do a border around. I was thinking about using this cream color for the border in the end, but I don't know for sure. We'll see. We'll see when we get into different colors for warmer weather, what the blanket looks like as a whole. Um, but these ends will all have to be taken care of at the end of the project because they're not going to look really pretty. But that's it. I got to go. I have a baby. So I hope that you guys are working on a project. This is something I would highly suggest. It's been a lot of fun for me. So enjoy.